Reed Schufer, and today we're going to talk about esophagostomy tube placement in cats. The esophagostomy tube allows us to give additional nutrition to a cat who is either unable or unwilling to eat in terms of trying to help them recover. The tube that we use is a red rubber catheter like the one in my hand. It's going to be placed through the side of the neck and pushed down towards the stomach so that when we give food it gives directly into the stomach, avoiding any contact with the mouth. Here is a picture of an x-ray of a cat with an esophagostomy tube in place. And the tube is right where my pencil is pointing. And you can see it stops right before the stomach wall. And this way the food goes directly to the stomach. When we're feeding a cat or a dog through an esophagostomy tube, we have to use a food that can be diluted with water so that it's uh, smooth enough to pass through the tube. Typically, we use a diet called AD diet, made by Hills, because it's already pudding in consistency, as you can see in this can. But even at its full strength, it's too thick to go through the tube. So we will give you instructions specifically for your pet, but in general, we're going to take a certain amount of the food, maybe, let's say we were going to use this much, and then use twice that much in water to dilute it. So we're going to fill up our, our cup, and we're going to just stir it around, just like you're making a little milkshake. Once we have it diluted, we're going to use a large syringe with what was called a catheter tip. This large bore tip allows us to insert, uh, suck the food right up. And you can tell if your food is diluted appropriately if it will suck into the syringe. And here you can see that we've done that fine. Syringes are marked by cc's or milliliters and you'll be instructed how much of the solution to give. For instance, this would be 10 cc's, this would be 20, 30, 40, and we'll fill the syringe to the appropriate amount. Before we're going to do any treatment with the tube, we're going to need to flush the tube with warm water to make sure that it's open, and then we will introduce our food, and then we'll flush it again when we're done. We're going to demonstrate that on a kitty who's in the hospital today. Okay, this is Clyde. He's in the hospital today for uh, liver problems, and part of his treatment is to get enough calories in him to help the liver heal itself. You can see on the side of his neck here, where the tube introduces itself into the body, and then it's sewn to the side of the face and to the neck, so that it just dangles behind him. Most cats tolerate this very well, and real, rarely do we have problems with them trying to scratch it out. You may notice on our tube here that we have a little clip that keeps the tube tight to prevent any fluid from coming back up after we've used it. So when you're going to use this, you have to move the clip off the, the rubber tube to allow it to be open. Before each time that we use this tube, we're going to use some fresh warm water to flush out the tube. We're going to use our catheter tip syringe, suck up about 10 cc's of water, which you can see right here. It doesn't matter if you have air in this because it's just going into the stomach. We introduce our catheter tip into the end of the tube, holding it tightly so it doesn't squish out, and then gently and slowly introduce the water. If there's a problem, either the water won't go because the tube is kinked, or if it's turning backwards, you might see some fluid coming out of the cat's mouth. If either of those things happen, you need to give us a call. Then we remove our catheter tip syringe. Now we've got our food that we already diluted. I'm going to suck up, let's say in this case, another 15 mLs of the food, food uh, water solution. I'm going to introduce that into the tube, holding it tight at the end so it doesn't squirt out, and just very slowly introduce that food into the kitty. You can see how easy this is. The cat doesn't seem to mind. Once we're done with the food, we're going back to our water. I'm going to take another 10 cc's of warm water introduce that back into our tube, flush that through so we know we're not leave, leaving any food in the tube. And once that's complete, we're going to push this clamp back over the, the tube so that it cannot have water coming back. 
and that's all we have to do. This is done usually three to four times a day, and when your cat's discharged, we'll tell you exactly how much to give. Possible complications, once in a rare while, if the cat vomits, the tube may come out of the front of their mouth. If this happens, you definitely need to come right in or go to the emergency clinic. It doesn't happen very frequently. We do want you to be taking care and looking at the side of the bandage uh, where the tube goes into the neck. If that starts to look pussy at all, then certainly give us a call. These tubes can be maintained for sometimes up to six to eight weeks, providing the cat is tolerating it well. And that gives us ample time to get our food and drugs into the cave. If you have any questions about this or any part of your cat's health care, please call us at 909-980-3575. Thank you for listening.